They really fucking blew it on editing. What the fuck is this? I already saw the trick three times. I said, I think I'm Walter White. Walter White. Jesse Pinkman. Welcome to episode number three of Old School Reviews, a series where I review video parts from my past that used to get me hyped up and ready to skate when I was your guy's age, 15, 16, 17 years old. Today we're reviewing a video called Switch Volume 1. I never saw Volume 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I don't know what happened to this series, but it was a video out of Canada. I apologize again for so many goddamn Canadian videos. Everybody's talking like this and it's weird, but that's the way my skate video stack was shaped. I just pulled the video off the top and it was Switch Volume 1. We start with Ryan Blacksall play. What's gonna be interesting about these parts, I'm gonna review three parts. Ryan Blacksall, uh, Grant Patterson, and Morgan Smith. In my opinion, this guy's part is the best, which is gonna be interesting to a lot of you guys, or at least to me, that Grant Patterson and Morgan Smith are still, you know, very well-known names today, whereas this guy arguably had a better video part. No one knows what happened to him, or at least I don't. Look at that giant drop. If anyone does know what happened to him, let me know in a comment below. But this was my favorite part. Look at this guy. He's got it all. Switch front blunt, so he's got the switch skills. Kick flip grind, so he's boring. Fakey flip 180. We got some good stuff. He skates switch, skates regular. Wait a minute, is this still the same guy? What stance is this guy? I might have just got fucking confused. I might have went and confused myself. I don't know what's going on, but... Shove it nose grind, nose bonk, whatever you want to call it. Just wait, I promise it gets more exciting. What a cool spot that would be. Nolly back heel. One of my favorite tricks. Switch flip, non-mobbed, believe it or not. Going downstairs. Skates a little bit of everything, looks good. Dresses like a normal person, which, you know, pay attention here, because there's a there's some weird outfits in this uh, this episode today. Okay, maybe he's not so much of an all-around guy, maybe more of a manualer. I haven't seen this part in a long time. Perfect nollie flip, amazing. Heel flip manual, okay. So, like, sometimes he skates regular and it appears to be switch. I don't know what's going on here. And he skates handrails. See, that looks like it was Switch. This might be two different guys. I don't fucking know. I have no idea what's going on. See, this guy... Is that Switch? What's happening? That looks Switch to me. Is it the same guy? It's gotta be. I don't know. I'm just confused. I'm getting in my own fucking head. I don't know what's going on. He's killing this spot, though. The pier. One of the few people to skate it in a line. Shout out to Joy Brzezinski. Rob Welsh. Nolly flip, very nice. I don't know what happened, I got really confused earlier. Shove it, no stall, why the fuck was that slow mode? So that was not Switch. Well, there's gotta be two people in this video. If somebody knows, I gotta research this shit, cause it's not just one guy, it's two guys. Wow. See, when I'm a kid, I don't look at that kind of shit. I'm like, oh, this is all the same guy. Now that I'm older and I watch this video fucking 10 years later, I realize there's some fishy shit going on here. You know what? No wonder you didn't uh, amount to shit. You never achieved anything. You're cheating. That was cool. That was my favorite trick so far. Okay, it's gotta be two different guys. <laughs> oh my god, how embarrassing. Steve, what a fucking idiot you are. You're like, what right do I have to review these videos? I don't even know who's fucking skating. Is that Nolly or Fakie? Who knows? Look Fakie to me. Big ol' kickflip. Front 180. Regardless, a really enjoyable part, and here's the banger, Nolly back heel. Awesome part. Don't know what happened to this guy, or these guys. Maybe it is one guy, maybe it's not. I got, like, really mind fucked in there. Next part is from somebody that a lot of you guys will for sure have heard of, Grant Patterson. And look at this guy's gear. Grant Patterson was one of those guys where, in this era of skateboarding, everyone believed he would be the next big thing, and... He stood the test of time, you know, he still skates, he's still pretty well known, he had a great part in a blind video, he's had a lot of really good parts, but I was a doubter, especially when I saw this video, I was just a doubter, I was like, okay, cool, like, he's really recognizable, he has that, that selling factor to where, you know, his branding, if you see a guy that's dressed like this, skating at 
in 2004, you're going to say, oh, a Grant Patterson biter, which is what you want. That's the type of branding you want. If you, if you see somebody today with weird fucking pictures on their clear grip tape and, and bright green laces, you go, oh, that guy fucking bites off Ninja Lifestyle. Well, this guy had his branding down, and I don't know, maybe that's why people believed he'd be the next big thing, because as far as this part goes, Grant Patterson parts, all things considered, this is probably one of his least entertaining ones, in my opinion, compared to like the shit he did in one of the blind videos, which, you know, granted, <laughs> pardon the pun, granted that was much later in his career, you know, he got a lot better. I don't know, I just, I felt like, uh, when I watched this, I felt like, okay, you can't just wear a goofy outfit and that's gonna, that's gonna sell your skateboards. So, you know, clearly he worked super fucking hard and became a really great skateboarder and a really unique skateboarder. He was one of the first guys to, uh, to do nollie late flips downstairs and now you see that a lot. As far as style goes, you know, he had a real recognizable style also, but uh, I don't know. Even now when I watch it, I was never like a huge fan. Compare this to the shit that he did later, it's like, okay, cool. But this, you know, I can see what I was thinking as a kid. I was thinking like, what's the big deal? He just fucking kick flipped off a ledge that probably should have been grinded on. But then he does a trick like that. What a goofy looking fucking guy. I really, oh, there it is right there. The Nolly front foot flip. Um, Nolly crook? Yes, this guy was a beast. You could see the potential, but I don't know. I just was not a believer. Switch front heel. He had a really good switch front heel. Why would they show a switch heel after that? It's weird that in his part, and I didn't see that in the last part, maybe I missed it. In his part, he's allowed to skate a skate park double set. And this spot right here is it's damn near a, a fucking skate spot. Or the one they showed a second ago. It's weird that sometimes, you know, you'll let that shit slide and sometimes you won't. I don't know. That was cool too. I mean, the trick bounced off the ground. A spot like this is damn near a fucking skate park too. I always did like this line though, because if you watch after this, uh, this trick, he puts a cigarette in his mouth. What a weird, it's the little things, right? The little things that matter, put the cigarette in his mouth, then did the trick, and you think about skateboarders now, they're like, oh, the line's over, let's fucking get off my skateboard and high five my filmer and give a hug. Nope, keeps going, keeps landing tricks. And then he looks fucking weird in here, I don't know, it just... <laughs> I don't know, man, maybe I'm just a hater. Maybe I'm a hater, but I can't really be a hater. I'm a hater on this part. I'm not a hater on this guy because Again, I'm gonna repeat myself over and over. Later, he became a skateboarder I really enjoyed watching, but this part, it's uh... You know what, a lot of you guys use the word cringe in your comments because you're not clever. This would be an adequate time to use a word like that. Like, uh, like what? Who likes this guy? Like, what the fuck is going on here? Where did he get those shirts, these giant pants? Why'd he change clothes right there? Probably took off his hoodie. And then this, he almost falls, but they slow-mo it? I don't know. And then this, Nolly Hill Crook, that looks like it might have been luck. I don't know. I'm a hater. I'm a fucking hater. Next video part. Morgan Smith. That name should sound familiar, if not for any other reason, at least Battle at the Barracks. Battle of the Barracks? Battle at the Barracks. Well, it's of the Barracks, too. B-O-T-B? That sounds dumb. Yeah, B-A-T-B. Battle at the Barracks. Now, this was a guy that I really enjoyed this part but a lot of time went by where I didn't see much from him or hear anything about him. Maybe it's that wall they built between US and Canada where Americans don't care about Canadian skateboarders. <laughs> or I know I sure as fuck don't. Their mouths are always going like this, fucking creeping me out. <laughs> but it was a lot of time where it was like, oh, what happened to that guy? And then one day I see his name on Battle of the Barracks and I promise you guys, I saw the name. A lot of people kind of didn't know much about him, but I remembered this part and I was like, this guy's for sure gonna take top four. And I think one of the years he actually won it. I'm not 100% sure, but he at least got first or second or something. I don't fucking know. I don't watch enough current skateboarding. I know more about skateboarding back then than, than I know about skateboarding today. But he stood the test of time also. Him and fucking Grant Patterson stood the test of time why is that? Oh, here we go back to fucking... This is a skate park. Why is this in here? I don't know. 
Really enjoyable part. I don't know why he didn't decide to pop that, but you know what? Maybe that's part of his style because later in this video he does Nolly uh, Big Flip and he doesn't pop it at all and he lands it perfectly square. Maybe he's changing the game. Fuck popping your trick. Again! He does it again! Look! My timing is flawless. Switch shove. Look how long this line is though. 270. Yup. This guy was a beast. Not at deadlifting plants, but at skating. Was that Switch? That was a different guy. That couldn't have been him. Nose grind back 180. Back 180? Back 180. Who knows? Switch tray. This guy's beast in it. He's come a long way. Um, he's got to be a pro, right? He's probably been pro for a long time. Maybe he was pro when this was out. Nah, probably not. I really enjoy this type of skating, though. I like the high-flying crazy shit. Wow, switch blunt at the end of the line. Nice. And then, okay. They really fucking blew it on editing. What the fuck? What is this? I already saw the trick three times! They blew it on editing, man. Great tricks, they fucking blew it right there. Now I don't even want to watch anymore. Great filming, you fuck. I feel like they got to the end of this video part and were like, what the fuck can we do to make it weird? Let's add in a random flat ground Nolly heel after all the great tricks we've seen. Nolly back board, skates handrails at least. Nolly back lip, still skates handrails. Nolly front board, still skates handrails. Did he skate handrails earlier? Boring ass tail slide. Clearly you're capable of like flipping out. There's the one I was talking about, didn't even pop. Switch tray over some trash cans, that shouldn't even be a trick. Nolly back heel, a giant set. And then switch front heel, I already know this. I wanted to share this tiny bit of information with you guys. Not the switch front heel, but the nolly back heel. I used to trade videos on a service called IRC. It was kind of like, Kind of like YouTube, I guess, but you had to do like weird coding and shit like that. And someone sent me the raw footage of that nolly back heel and they were like, this guy's Morgan Smith, he's insane. And I was like, ah, whatever. You know, I've always been kind of like full of myself and cocky, so I was like, I could do that shit, whatever. A few years later, this video part comes out. Morgan Smith is the next big thing, and here the fuck I am, talking to you guys on YouTube, not doing shit with my life. God damn it! Let me know what you guys thought of these video parts. I really enjoyed this video. There's a lot more parts in it, so if you guys want to research it, again, it's called Switch Volume 1. And until next time, guys, I hope you're enjoying this series. Kuna, Matata, bitches.